Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have a number of amendments. I hope the committee looks favorably on them. I'd like to thank the committee for uh, including in the defense appropriations uh, rule that was that was prior considered amendments that I'd offered on Ukraine and, and one that I know the ranking member and I care about regarding cluster bombs. I am principally here to testify in favor of this rule. I think it is a good thing for the House of Representatives and a good thing for the country to consider these appropriations measures separately and to do so with robust amendment. During the speaker contest in January, it was a major issue whether or not the House of Representatives would continue to govern by omnibus and continuing resolution. And there were several of us who demanded from Speaker McCarthy concessions that we would not do that anymore. We would not take one up or down vote on all of these disparate agencies of government to fund them or not fund them. And when we fought for those things, despite a whole lot of initial criticism, it was not the praise that we received for seeking this uh, methodology of governing and appropriating was one that was even uh, championed by some of the more left-leaning members of the Democratic caucus. I recall uh, the gentlelady from New York, Ms. Ocasio-Cortez, going on Rachel Maddow's program and saying, hey, what you know, these Freedom Caucus and Freedom Caucus Aligned members are fighting for would be helpful to our deliberative process. And so we endeavor upon that, that uh, work today. But there can be no denying that Mr. Nagus made very valid points in criticizing this Republican majority for having not done so sooner. And uh, we own that failure, and now we have to break the fever. We have to kick the habit of governing by omnibus and continuing resolution. This government is about to run $2 trillion annual deficits. We are $33 trillion in debt. Both parties have contributed to that substantially, and I believe the reason that Regardless of which parties control in the place, we seem to always uh, gravitate to these omnibus bills and continuing resolutions is, is because we don't have the courage to actually cut spending. And the discussions that we just witnessed on the Homeland Security bill, on the state and foreign ops bill, those are precisely what our constituents expect of us. So uh, while I know that this is but a step and there's a great deal of work to do, while I know that it was a bad sign that Speaker McCarthy uh, at three o'clock on a Thursday functionally sent people home, I am heartened that you are here. I am heartened that my colleagues from across the Republican conference are here to work through these, these measures and I believe the rule that you are about to vote on and hopefully pass provides us the greatest platform to do deliberative governing and to reduce spending in a way that is consistent with our values and the reality of divided government that we currently live in. I thank the committee for its indulgence and I yield back. I appreciate it. Happy Friday, friends. I have breaking news to share with you today. You may be missing out on a stimulus check. You may be missing out on a stimulus check. State lawmakers have just confirmed that new inflation relief payments will be sent out to thousands of Americans. These checks are estimated to be worth thousands of dollars for many households. Please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to find out if you qualify for this. Also, in a video later today, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. My dear friends, if you would like to enter these weekly giveaways, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Now, friends, if you are a resident of the state of California, did you receive your California middle-class tax refund payment? Some people in California who have been left out will finally be receiving their inflation relief payment this month. The Franchise Tax Board confirmed that 5,000 payments will be issued by the end of September. For those who were never issued a payment, spokesperson Andrew LePage said in a statement this week, although the Franchise Tax Board issued the vast majority of all payments by late January of this year, we have continued to issue first-time payments based on updated address information and for taxpayers who contacted us to review their eligibility. LePage said that going forward, there may still be occasional cases where people could be reissued payments, like if someone lost their debit card or their payment to a previous address was returned and the person reported their new address. The middle-class tax refund was a one-time payment 
approved by lawmakers in 2022 to provide relief for eligible Californians amid very high gas prices. About $9.2 billion in payments have been issued so far, including $7.2 million direct deposits and $9.6 million debit cards. As of earlier this month, 87% of middle-class tax refund debit cards have been activated, though people have spent less than half of the $4.6 billion that was loaded onto the cards. The Franchise Tax Board says the cards will expire in April 2026 and that it has sent several letters this year reminding debit card recipients to activate their cards if they have not done so already. The state of Colorado is also set to pay out more than $3.5 billion in Tabor refunds next spring. It is one of the largest paybacks that the state has ever had to return to taxpayers. In fact, the state is in the middle of what could be a record-busting string of revenue years. For the first time ever, the Colorado state government could be forced to pay refunds for six straight years, stretching from 2022 through 2027 or even longer. Those refunds are expected to average more than $2 billion per year. It is a level never before seen in Colorado, even accounting for inflation. Late 2022 through 2024 will likely be the peak of the refund wave, due largely to crisis error gains in personal and corporate income. But Tabor paybacks could remain a fixture in Colorado long after that. So even a moderate level of economic growth will likely push the state over the revenue limits set by the taxpayer's Bill of Rights, forcing it to send that extra money back. A recession would likely only lead to a temporary break in the Tabor surpluses. Democrats who now dominate state politics have celebrated the refunds in recent years. With Governor Jared Polis branding them out as a Colorado cashback and sending out the bushels of checks with a signed letter last year. And at the same time, though, refunds pose a big question for liberals and progressives in state politics who believe some or all of that money would be better spent through targeted state programs. Advocates have long argued that the refunds are the product of a broken system. They say that the state's revenue limits are simply too tight and that paying refunds comes at the cost of important services like education. Top state House and Senate Democrats have reached an agreement on a tax relief bill and the plan to send it to Governor Mara Healey next week as an opening act for their fall session. The tax relief package passed by the House this spring would cost the state $654 million initially and eventually rise to $1.1 billion. Meanwhile, Senate Democrats pushed through a $586 million package with some similarities to the House's plan, increasing the rent cap deduction from $3,000 to $4,000, doubling the senior circuit breaker tax credit cap and increasing the earned income tax credit to 40% of the federal credit. Well, my magnificent and most marvelous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. My dear friends, in a video later today, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, my friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Please make sure that you do stay tuned since I'll be announcing several winners in a video later today. Thank you, friends, and have a wonderful and very blessed Friday.